I'm gonna uh, show you guys out here after I get it. There she is. And she's pretty much getting solidified already. Yeah. Oh, oh, you missed it. That is the second Cupel that we've done on the first gold button. There's the first Cupel, and it does have a little bit of that spatter inside, and some copper oxides in there, and of course the lead ring. Uh, but over here, it should be loose by now, I think. Uh, fling it across the uh, table. I'll let that stay out overnight. It looked like it cleaned up a lot. And uh, the edges are looking really nice and crisp. The top has a little bit of material that we need to clean off, but besides that, it's looking really nice. So, cool. We'll see you guys during the day, tomorrow. You know, they say that uh, like a year ago to start all these experiments and we're finally able to uh, start wrapping everything up here. Here's a five gram button for you, buddy. I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking here. It's going to be really focused, but uh, we've got our copper button right there. And uh, we're going to put some water here in the beaker and uh, add some nitric acid and dissolve the copper, hopefully leaving behind any precious metals like gold. And uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. Gonna turn the heat on here. You can already see it starting to dissolve. And we'll let it cook. So enjoy the little show here. I don't know how long this is gonna take. This is a little over 13 grams of, uh, of copper and hopefully some gold too. So we'll let it cook here.
Now, uh, if you can make out on the bottom of the beaker there, I just turned the heat off. On the bottom of the beaker here, hold on one second, please. Here, got a bunch of black solids, and that is basically what we're after here. That should be our goal. Oh no, there's a little floater still. See it? I didn't realize that. Oops. Whoa. That's crazy what it's doing there. Excess nitrate. Let's get a turn on. We got it now. That was easy. We did it. Yes, we did. The reaction has stopped. I turned the heat off. No more boiling. OK. 
Okay. Got our coffee filter here set up. And uh, we got a nice, nice amount of black on the bottom there. I need to go grab a magazine. Right? Trying to grab the stir rod. There we go. Quite a bit of gold there from the looks of it. And it's looking pretty pure. It's sticking together, which is what we want to see. I'm just going to do a few more rinses here, but that's what we're after right there. Got some copper salts here on the outside of the beaker, and this will probably be the final rinse that I do here. Yeah. There's our goop there in the bottom, and I'll get that into a t pal once I clean this up. Okay, so we've got our beaker here, and this is our filter paper, which has a little tiny bit of stuff on there, but I'm not going to really worry about it. And uh, what I want to do with, here, let me rinse the rest of this out. our copper solution and what I'm gonna do here is see you guys that next all right so here are the magnetics from our experiments and uh, I'm gonna place these here with the hopes that the iron will ooh, it's it's doing it I'm going to try to precipitate out the copper here. What, what's going on here is the iron is forming or it's replacing the 
copper in solution and it's forming metallic copper pulling the iron into solution and what I'll do with this once it's fully pulled the copper out is check and see if we have any silver in solution I'm gonna get cleaning up here and we'll get back to the house. All right, so I wanted to show you kind of what our end product is here. And that is the gold powder that we recovered from the 13 gram copper button. Um, my guess here is about point, point 0.2 to point 0.3. Everything's been fractional, so I'm just gonna go with about point 0.3 here. Maybe less. Uh, I'm gonna recupel this for the final part of the uh, series here of crushing our gold slag and recovering gold. It's been a real fun uh, journey here and we're moving towards Aqua Regia, and uh, hopefully we get some really pretty buttons out of this. So let's get the uh, tabletop furnace fired up and melt this stuff. All right. Well, I guess this is what some would say is the moment of truth. I think it's done. Oh yeah, it's done. Beautiful. A bit less than I was thinking, but never know until you really get it on the scale. Let's see if that ball's loose. Oh, it is. Cool. I'm gonna go grab some tweezers and pluck that little bad boy out of there. Okay, well, I'm trying to use my super duper brain powers here to be a little OCD about things. I smashed a little button out. 
and uh, right there, I flatten it out, <laughs> and I uh, go grab some water. Hold on. Let's go get a weight on it. All right, let's sort on the scale. 0.265, that was close on my guess. And that's what we had locked up in the copper. So uh, that's gonna end this mini series here. We will uh, start a little new one uh, in purifying all this gold that you guys have been seeing. I think we've got close to 14 grams and uh, we're gonna melt some silver into that gold and uh, do the same processes along with a couple new ones. So thanks for watching. And thanks for everyone who's uh, been a subscriber and is also new to the channel. You can check our website out. We sell gold pay dirt with guaranteed gold amounts. We also have a Patreon and our YouTube channel. So check us out. Thanks for watching.